Hey guys, it's Tessa with Fair Health, and today I'm going to talk to you about whether or not a vegan diet is right for someone with a weight loss goal. Some people may question a plant-based diet when it comes to weight loss because of how many carbohydrates are in vegetables. However, our body does digest those carbohydrates quite differently than say, breads, pastas, etc. So a vegan diet is actually really, really great for someone that is trying to lose weight because our body needs all the vitamins, micronutrients, polyphenols, antioxidants that it could possibly get. Another misconception about weight loss is that people think that they need to put on more muscle. So what does that mean? They need to have more protein in their diet. However, this isn't really true. You do not need to add more protein in your diet to lose weight. Most people that have 20, 30, 50 pounds to lose, it's not pure fat. That bulk that they see is actually muscle mass. So if you're adding protein to your diet, you're only making the matter worse. You should eliminate protein, go completely plant-based, and just get your protein through plants until you reach your ideal body weight. Okay, I'm sure you're thinking I'm totally crazy at this point, but what does our body actually need? It needs essential nutrients, it needs water, it needs soluble fiber, it needs carbohydrates from dicots to avoid hypoglycemia. And if you don't know what a dicot is or a monocot is, take a look at our other YouTube videos that totally explain it all. If you're overweight, it's likely that you have some form of cellular damage. Now, don't freak out because cellular damage can be reversed in some cases or you can make it better through proper hydration, nutrition, micronutrients, sleep, and overall stress reduction. So you see many weight loss programs, they do emphasize protein uh, from animal sources. Now this is a quick way for people to lose weight. It is effective, however, what it does to our body in the long run is not always that great. Uh, you already have an excessive amount of protein in your, in your body. You really do not need to put any more protein in your diet if you are overweight. Uh, this focus on protein abundance over and over and over again in our society is really, really short-sighted as it leaves our body quite depleted from a micronutrient standpoint as we're filling up on protein. Um, and it starves our gut bacteria from soluble fibers in which it needs. This ultimately leads to chronic disease and other issues such as SIBO, you always see that pop up and I see it over and over again in patients that have been eating an excessive amount of protein. Weight loss can be achieved in many different ways. You can lose weight on a keto diet. You can lose weight on pretty much any diet if you're in a calorie deficit. But from a cellular standpoint, I do believe and just overall health and longevity of our lives that a vegan diet is going to be the best diet from a micronutrient standpoint for your body. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some insight on weight loss coming from a vegan perspective. We post new videos every single week, so hit that subscribe button and you won't miss a thing.